dry and dusty Mediterranean environment in late summer. A place where people get thirsty very quickly. In the heat of the day it can be very unpleasant unless you find shade. But here on the Costa del Sol it's the exception rather than the rule because the area is an oasis for both residents and holiday makers. It has all the modern infrastructure for daily life. Even though it's a dry climate, nobody goes thirsty. There's plenty of shelter and the old dry winding roads have been replaced by the bustle of cars and modern highways. 2,000 years ago, a man called John started to preach about God. He was a prophet and he didn't speak about God in crowded towns and cities, but out in a desert place. And as the word desert suggests, it was pretty deserted. But people came from miles away to hear him give a message that somebody special was coming and that they all should be prepared for him. In Mark's Gospel, John is introduced to us through the words of the prophet Isaiah. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make ready the way of the Lord, make his path straight. What the prophecy is talking about are the days when governors or kings would visit their distant provinces, and in their honour the roads would be straightened and gradients improved in order to make their journey smooth and comfortable. Of course, the news that John was actually announcing is that people should be prepared for the coming of the special person, and that person was Jesus. I don't find it surprising that John spoke his message from the desert, because he wanted to make people understand that the one that was coming would deal with the issues of spiritual thirst and take them into a relationship with God. But how were they going to make their path straight? John's message was simple, stop going your own way and start going God's way because God was sending his special person, the Messiah. Well, the one who's coming, John announced, of course, has already been, and that's Jesus. And the message for people today is exactly the same as the message all those centuries ago. And that is, turn away from doing things your way and start moving God's way. Why? because Jesus came and he died for us in order that he might deal with the issue of our wrongdoing, our, our sin, in order that we might be able to find life and hope in following him. Let me ask you a question. Are you in a spiritual desert? Are you spiritually thirsty? Do you need to find shelter in the presence of God? Jesus has already come and died for you in order that you might find all of that, that you might find forgiveness and life and hope. Why not make your path straight today and follow Jesus?